The Volkswagen 2.0 TFSI engine from the EA888 family was supposed to represent cutting edge engineering when it debuted in 2007. With direct fuel injection, turbocharging and modern emissions compliance, it promised strong performance and efficiency. However, the reality for many owners turned out to be very different. High oil consumption, timing chain problems, and a list of weak points earned this engine a controversial reputation among enthusiasts. In this video, we'll break down the design of the 2.0 TFSI EA888, its most common failures, and what you can do to keep it alive. The EA888 family replaced the older EA113 engines, introducing 1.8 and 2.0 turbocharged inline four engines with cast iron blocks, direct fuel injection, and a complex timing chain system. Early engines used three separate chains, one for the camshafts, one for the balance shafts, and one for the oil pump. The water pump unusually is driven by a separate belt. While the cast iron block provides durability, early pistons and rings were a major weak point. Their tiny oil drain holes, thin piston rings and fragile design led to excessive oil consumption and carbon buildup. On longitudinal applications, engine mounts rarely last beyond 193,000 miles. When the fluid-filled dampers fail, idle vibration increases even on a warm engine. Harsh jerks appear when starting from a stop. Diagnostic codes for active mounts may appear because one mount has a sensor. Timely replacement prevents secondary vibration damage. The 2.0 TFSI EA888 often used an IHI RHF5 turbocharger. While capable, its longevity depends heavily on oil system health. Early models suffered from wastegate rattle after lifting off the throttle. Even with a spring clip fix, many turbos developed shaft play or worn wastegate bushings, leading to boost leaks or underboost conditions. In many cases, a rebuild or replacement turbo is the only reliable solution. The oil separator PCV system went through multiple revisions with the final major update arriving in 2016. The diaphragm often tears, causing oil vapor leaks and a cascade of fault codes, lean mixtures, misfires and intake leaks. An outdated separator accelerates oil consumption. Replacing the unit with the latest revision drastically improves reliability. Inside the filter bracket sits a tube with O-rings and a valve. Over time, it warps, allowing oil to drain back into the sump. Symptoms include rough idle, hard starting, VVT, cam phaser, rattling. Fortunately, the tube is cheap to replace and should be swapped preventively during oil filter changes. Oil seepage from the vacuum pump is a common nuisance. While simply replacing the gasket solves it, the location makes the job tricky. The oil to coolant heat exchanger can clog with sludge, causing a rapid rise in oil temperature. Routine removal, cleaning and new gaskets will extend the engine's life and protect it from oil breakdown. The EA J88's coil packs are notoriously sensitive to worn spark plugs. Volkswagen recommends plug replacement every 15,000 miles to prevent coil failure. Delaying this service leads to misfires and rough running. Direct injection means no fuel washes over the intake valves, allowing oil vapors and EGR gases to form sticky deposits. This can reduce performance, cause misfires and rough idle, trigger P2015 swirl flap errors. Walnut blasting or chemical cleaning of the intake manifold every 50,000 miles is essential. The biggest nightmare for early EA888 engines is the timing chain. Chains stretch quickly, weak tensioners allow backward rollback on slopes, risking chain jump. Chain jump often leads to bent valves and catastrophic engine damage. In late 2012, VW redesigned the chain and tensioner with an improved ratchet mechanism. If you own an early engine, upgrading is critical. Though rare, balance shaft seizure can destroy the engine debris or sludge clogs the tiny oil filters in the balance shaft bearings, bearings overheat and seize. In severe cases, the shafts weld themselves to the block, stalling the engine instantly. 
monitoring oil pressure and using high quality oil is the best prevention. The second generation E888 introduced a variable capacity oil pump. The sliding gear design adapts flow to engine demand. Any sludge or wear causes pressure drops, starving critical components. Long-term neglect leads to camshaft scoring and bearing wear. Early second gen engines often consumed up to one liter per 1,000 kilometers, sometimes more. Volkswagen even listed 0.5 liter per 1,000 kilometers as normal. The primary cause, tiny piston oil holes and weak rings. Many owners replaced factory pistons with updated designs to solve the problem. The 2.0 TFSI EA888 can deliver strong performance and enjoyable driving dynamics, but its early versions suffer from oil consumption, chain failures, and complex maintenance requirements. With updated parts, frequent oil changes and timely preventive repairs, the engine can reach respectable mileage, but ignoring its weak points can lead to catastrophic failure.